Hello there, welcome to my channel, I'm Andrew and today I'm going to show you how you can manage pictures in Microsoft Access. In my previous video I illustrated how you can use pictures and keep them in Microsoft Access and what I illustrated is a scenario where you had to keep pictures within the database. However, you'll find that with the time, if the pictures become so many and bulky, the database will become a little bit uh, inefficient and slow. I, as you can see, this picture is uh, being uh, kept within the Microsoft Access database. Uh, as you can see, if you go to tables, um, I have students table. These pictures uh, are kept within access and they are within the table. However, what I, I want to illustrate is a scenario where you keep the pictures in a folder and then you make reference to those pictures within the folder rather than keeping the pictures within the database. In that case, your database will be more efficient because you will not have to keep the pictures within the database. So without further ado, let me illustrate how you can uh, uh, use a folder to keep your pictures. And so you just begin with, uh, you go to design view and I'm going to create what we call an image path. I'd created one, but I can recreate another one. So you create an image path. You see, you type image, then path. And you can give it a short text, even if uh, it is 255 characters, that's fine. Um, file, save, then close. So by doing so, I've created uh, a column called image path. This is where I'm going to keep the path uh, of the image as you will see in a few uh, minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and create a folder. Um, let me create a folder called stuff. So you come here, create folder. I'm going to call this folder stuff all staff members. So I'm going to uh, uh, pick some pictures and drop these pictures uh, in the uh, staff, staff members folder. Uh, assuming these are your pictures, so you go to your staff members and drop these pictures into uh, this folder. You paste. So I have three pictures, 001, rather 0001, 0002, and uh, well, maybe this one I can rename it uh, 0003. So once I have my pictures, uh, I can be able now to reference these pictures. If I open this picture, this is my picture. I should be able to make a reference to this folder such that my pictures show up in my database. So how do we go about that? Uh, first of all, let, let's see, let's get this, the location uh, or the, uh, uh, let's get the location of these, uh, of these pictures. Uh, what you do you just try to get the location. It may be very difficult to read the location from here, but when you right click here, you go to properties. I want to get the location of these pictures. The location is actually here, C. And the folder is staff members. So what you do, you capture into your database, depending on the location of that folder. You double click here students and uh, 
you tap in C the folder is staff members then forward slash and then the first picture assuming this is the pic the picture for uh this uh, uh, uh this student uh zero 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 um zero 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 one and then you go on to the next one you can just copy this zero 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 two then i can copy another one zero 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 three so these are my pictures so remember uh, i need to go back and uh, make slight adjustments to add another zero on this uh, for purposes of being uh, consistent so rename these let me rename. So remember here we are just keeping the image path. So this is the image pa path or the link. So uh, now this is at a, a table and you can't see the images here. So what you do, first of all, you have created a table with the image path. You've created the folder with the images. The folder, this is the folder with the images. This is our folder here. It is on C, but regardless of the location, the uh, the database will be able to pick up the, the image or the images in that case. So, so uh, you can see I've created uh, my column for image path. So let me close this. So how do we get these images on the form? So you go to uh the forms i'm going to use this form of course there is already an image but this image is kept within the the database what i want to do is to add another uh another another box which is going to pull the pictures from a folder because this one is within the database so how do you get the uh to connect the hello link your form to the table so that you're able to see uh the the pictures that you kept in a folder what you do you go to uh design view you make sure that you select image So you drop the image control here. This one you cancel. Yeah, I went to image, drop it here. I can do it again. Click there pick image drop it there this one you cancel make it a bit large now you right click uh this uh image box go to its properties and then this is very very important you go to control source and you type in or you look up for image path once you're done with that you close this remember that this form is connected to the students table so you close now let's test and see if our pictures are going to show up oh there's a problem the reason why the pictures are not showing up it means there's a problem with the way we captured uh the image uh the image uh path information so you go back to tables i go to 
students yes we have to complete these images by adding the image extension and the image extension is jpeg jpg dot jpg dot jpg so you can check out the image extension if you go to even if you put your um, uh, cursor on the image it shows it is jpg capital for consistency let's use capital jpeg or jpg 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 so this is our image path we had made an error uh, don't worry to make mistakes you can always come back and correct so let's check to see if our image is coming through so you can see so you can see this image is for james okana and uh, if you go to the next one uh, you can see this is uh, the sarah word and then you can go to the next one this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, piotta taylor so this image here is best on is kept within the database however this image here is referenced to a folder that's why in the case i go and delete 00003 if i delete this image here uh, you close and reopen and see if that image has disappeared you have to go to forms you can see that's uh, uh, james that is uh, sarah so the other image has disappeared because i've deleted it from the folder but uh, if you uh, bring it back to the uh, folder uh, it will uh, again show up let me pick it uh, again copy and uh, put it back in the staff um, members and i rename it i place f2 0003 uh, 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 you, you need to refresh or you, you just uh, close oh, this one can also do it here you refresh here and just check if your image is back yes your image is back uh, before i close uh, this session uh, what i want to emphasize that it is far much better to keep the images in a folder rather than in a database if you have so many images in a database the database will become so bulky heavy and it, at the end of the day the database will start slowing down and maybe it will even start crashing so i strongly advise that you keep your images um, within a folder rather than within the database i've come to the end of this session where i've illustrated how you can keep images in a folder and thank you very much for uh, viewing and listening to my videos please subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video thank you very much bye for now